no sense. Welcome to Creek Chats. I am Creek. Hi guys, welcome to Cree Chats. I am Cree, and in today's episode of Cree Chats, I'm going to show you guys how I get my big green curls. Now, um, one of my subscribers um requested that I do this look for you guys. I'm about to take this wig off. Like after I make this video, this wig is coming off. Okay, but I just wanted to make this video showing y'all how I curl my hair in my little bob style before I um take this wig off and do me some box braids. But um, yes, I just wanted to show y'all how I curl my hair and how I get all of this body and all this volume in my curls. So if you're interested in seeing this, stay tuned. Okay guys, so before we get into this tutorial, I wanted to shout out Iman Ingram. She is the young lady who told me she wanted me to do this tutorial on how I curl my hair. And this is basically the look that we're going for. This is how I curl my hair. This day, I went to a day party that day, but that's how I curl my hair. And she wanted to see how I curl my hair, so I'm about to show y'all how I did it. Right now, I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair. I use a flat iron to curl my hair, and my flat iron is an inch. If I had a curling iron that was an inch, then I would use a curling iron, but I don't have one, so I'm going to use my flat iron. And this is actually a smoothing iron. And the difference between a smoothing iron and a, a, a flat iron, a straightening iron, is the, the edges. I don't know if y'all can tell. But the edges on this puppy are rounded. Like the edges on, on her are rounded. Oh, you can tell really well like this. Okay, so this has rounded edges, which makes this a smoothing iron. If the edges were like boxy, like a literal box, you wouldn't be able to get that curl with this. So this is my Paul Mitchell Pro Tools iron. I got this when I was in school for my kids. I still use the same one. She popping, okay? She works incredibly well. And yeah, I'm basically just show you, about to show y'all how I do this. Now, I don't use no bobby pins or nothing. No clips or nothing. I just get my comb and I go at it, okay? So, I curl everything away from my face, of course. And if I want, like, waves, then I do everything towards my face. But I usually curl everything away from my face for this look. And I just take my flat iron. I take a little section. I just curl it back. And I just bring it all the way down. Holla. Okay, and that's it. And I'm more so just like bumping everything than I am really like putting spiral curl all over my head. I'm more so bumping everything really heavily. And also, guys, um, it doesn't take me long to do this. So I'm going to like talk for a little bit and then I'm going to speed up the process. But, um, but yeah, I literally just, and my sections aren't that small. My sections are pretty big because my curls are going to be pretty big. I don't really want no little bitty curls. I kind of want my sections to be on the larger side. So that's why I'm going in like this. And I've done these before and, you know, like, pin curl my hair and all that good stuff. But I'm just about to do them like normal because I'm really about to take this wig off. Like, as soon as I finish recording this, I'm taking my wig off. The only reason I haven't taken it off yet is because I got this request and I was like, you know what? I need to do this before I decide to take my unit off. So, yeah. And I basically, like, I'm, I'm doing everything the same way. Just twisting away from my face. Just curling everything. And I'm not messing with it. Like, I'm not, you know, running my fingers through it or anything. I'm going to do that later. But for right now, I just let them drop and let them relax where they are. So, I'm about to put some music on, honey. And curl the rest of this hair, guys. Okay guys, so I finished this side, like this side is all curled. I finished like the back half of this and I'm about to work on the front. Now how I do the top is very simple. I just part the top. I just part the top and I bring it back. I curl all of this backwards too. Hold it down. Cause this is trying to come up off my head. And I use bow hole wig glue, by the way, y'all. So my wig do not be moving and slide. It's really just because it's time for me to take it off. That's really the only reason it's doing all of this. But 
it's fine. I mainly just wanted to show y'all how I got my curls. Okay, so my head is full of curls and I'm going to comb them out. And that's all I do. I just brush everything and push it up. Brush the back, push it. Comb back and push it. And you're not going to mess your curls up. You're going to be all right. Just comb it and push it. Comb it and push it. Especially this up here. I like to have like height up in my crown. So push it and push it. Oh, and this is basically it. And it is a little like messy. You can kind of see little flyaways. So I'll comb them. You know, I'll comb it out a little bit. Comb it and do it. But baby, that's basically it. Okay. So, um, yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me any more suggestions. I am going to do the video, like I said, of the cut, the style, the color, everything from start to finish. Give me a second, though, because I need some hair in order for me to do this. So, that video is going to be coming soon. I also got a request to do a video about everything to my cosmetology kit. So, I'm going to do that soon, too. That's probably going to be the next video I do. But, yeah. So, I will see you guys very, very soon. And thank you for watching, as always. Love you. Bye.